How is virtual medicine helping with the rising costs in healthcare? Well, there's a couple different ways. One, we're enabling greater access to care, where individuals that can use these virtual medicine tools, whether it's telemedicine or virtual visits, to be able to better communicate with healthcare providers. But where we're really seeing some great impact is what we call virtual coaching tools. So for instance, we just launched with WellDoc an application that allows us to be able to do coaching for diabetes management. And we've seen in clinical trials prior that this results in better health outcomes. Tell us about some of the new innovations we can expect to see from Samsung in the coming year. We're spending a lot of time thinking about newer sensors. We're thinking about how those sensors can be incorporated into our existing wearables, our phones. A really good example would be with the project we just announced with UCSF. So UCSF has identified a way that you can use something called a uh, heart load factor, where you're putting your finger at the optical sensor on the phone, you can determine the pulse wave velocity, it correlates to this number called the heart load factor, and they're correlating that in their research study to blood pressure, to stress. Just a really powerful way that individuals can simply push their finger on this, and then it can correlate to how well you're doing from a blood pressure or stress standpoint. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.